There are some places that are so profoundly beautiful, so vibrant and wild, that they are known to travelers all over the world as places that you must see before you die. Shipwreck Beach and the surrounding coastline in the Ionian Islands is one of those places, and I have dreamt of taking my own boat there since I first started thinking about sailing the world. Isa, if you wanna go cliff jumping, give me the okay symbol. Man, this watercolor is nuts. Like, look at it on my face. This is the coolest anchorage we've ever been to. There you go. But as luck would have it, just as we were about to experience this adventure of a lifetime, we got sick. I'm feeling awful. It was definitely a fountain of throw up. Unfortunately, taking a few days to recover just isn't an option since Desiree's sister and her fiance are visiting us for their pre-wedding honeymoon. So we're going to do everything that we can to not let this drop in our health stand in the way of this decade old dream. But sailing, hiking, swimming, and exploring rugged coastlines like this can be exhausting. And with our illness getting worse by the day, we may just have to postpone this whole thing. Isabella, are you with Auntie G and Uncle Fletch? <laughs> I know, these are different people than normal. <laughs> so what's the plan for today, bud? We are moving. Going out into nature this time, now that we're legal. Yeah. Now that we're not like, sneaking around Greece anymore. Susha, <laughs> so are you gonna be captain today? <laughs> Maybe, I mean, I have to do all the work anyway. <laughs> okay, well, it is a windy day today and it is only gonna get windier, so we gotta bounce out of this anchorage and uh, we're gonna head to an anchorage on the southeast corner of Kefalonia, a couple hours away. It's gonna be a tricky procedure to get the anchor up. It's blowing like 22, 23 knots right now, so we always gotta be a little bit careful that we don't screw anything up. All right, here we go. It's been great having Gio and Fletch on board to help out, but let's just say that sometimes they can give me mixed signals. Hey, Kurt! Great, thank you. Good job, Fletch. Woo! We did it. Anchor's up. All right, go ahead. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, go ahead and wrap it around the winch a couple times. Yeah, two is good. Okay, now hold. Get be prepared. Ease it very controlled. Okay, go ahead. Okay, careful. It's gonna get under a lot of load here in a sec. Okay, hold it right there. Yeah, I think that's gonna do us. Nice work, guys. All right, G, we're sailing. How does it feel? Woo! Feel the wind in my hair. Nice. Feels good. I feel like I learned something today. Good. Fletch, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Really like soothing, calming. Yeah, like, totally. Very therapeutic. This I'm is a little a... hungry though. But... Getting a little... <laughs> yeah. how, how are you is enjoying the hit? sale? A little hungry. Is that a hit? <laughs> are you kicking me? All right, so everything is going according to plan. We're starting to turn around the corner or the edge of this giant bay slash wind funnel and the wind has calmed down a lot. So it went from 27 knots to 13. That bay is just nuts. It really does just funnel the wind. Hopefully this next anchorage should be nice and protected. Yay! Made a Greek leftover lunch. <laughs> oh man, that looks good. Thanks, buddy. It's nice up here. Wow, look, look at land. <laughs> What's going on down here? Isabella's flirting with Fletcher. Again. Gio's getting jealous. <laughs> All right, so it is very windy. <laughs> it's like probably mid 20 knots right now. And we are getting ready to head to the beach and do a beach setup. But we're not entirely sure that everyone's gonna make it because Gio and Fletch Dog are gonna be in the kayak testing whether the kayak is capable of paddling directly into 20 plus knot winds. G Dog, do you feel ready? Ready. Fletch, you feel good? Yeah, ready, not worried. It's a little cold. Right. Okay, there you go. Nice. I don't think they're gonna make it. I think they're gonna make it. <laughs> I was a little worried at first. Gio and Fletcher were having a hard time paddling in sync and they weren't really making a lot of progress to windward. But slowly, they did start to get the hang of it. Uh -huh. 
You're doing it! Whoa, whoa. you okay? <laughs> Woo! Got the wave! Nice okay. job, guys. So how was the ride? <laughs> My uh, shades are wet because <laughs> I got splashed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you doubt yourself for a second? Or is it, you're like, this well, is gonna suck, but we'll get there. This is gonna suck, but we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> we had different ideas of what the end goal was. We're just going straight. Going over there, we're rock. We're up for the rock. So then we ended up just, I paddled on one side the, <laughs> like half of the time. Couples therapy. <laughs> So what's the plan, bud? Well, and what's the problem? The problem is we need another stick. So I'm trying to use these paddles. Should I just stand here the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so janky, it's hilarious. It's standing. It is. It is upright. Yamas. Yay. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> All right, you want to go for a swim? Yeah. Oh no. Hi, baby. Are you upside down? Good morning. I think it's about 3 a.m. and uh, everyone is asleep down below. But I'm feeling awful. A little bit of a bug, had a little bit of body chills and aches. Gosh, tomorrow we're gonna be underway for I think six hours. Get more water, get back in bed, go to sleep. I think I can handle it. All right, gang, how did we all sleep? Pretty good, it was probably one of the rolliest nights we've had. It's still rolly outside. The wind finally calmed down, but now we're getting a swell coming into this really open anchorage. How you doing in there? Yeah. Oh, and you may hear that we're all a little sick. We don't know how we got sick, <coughs> except it may have been 100% Geo. Well, good news is G was only sick for a couple days and it was pretty low key, so hopefully we're gonna turn a corner. Is Uncle Fletch putting funny hats on you? <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to take advantage of the fact that the wind has finally calmed down. And we're going to check out some of the very dramatic and beautiful yet very exposed anchorages on the northwest coast of Zakintos, which is this island that we can see here. One of them is the famous Shipwreck Bay. It's famous for being very beautiful. It's also famous for having a lot of tourists. We're just gonna kind of bounce along the coast till we find an anchorage that we like. So, time to get a move on. Boy. Well, I wasn't expecting this, but we are sailing. We're doing like seven knots in 15 knots of wind. We're close reaching. And it's a little bit of a problem because we're healing over a lot and I wasn't expecting this. The forecast was for no wind this morning. And so I left the outboard on the dinghy and the lower end of the outboard is hitting the waves every now and then. That's a lot of weight for these davits to be healed over like that. So I've jerry-rigged a couple more lines, which is less than ideal but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. I should have put the outboard up, but I knew that we were gonna be dropping a lunch hook for just a couple hours and wanting to explore, you know, and not having a lot of time. So I wanted the dinghy to be ready. So it's one of those tough calls, I guess, but this wind was not forecast at all. It's coming right off of Zakintos, right off of this island. For right now, everything's really good. The morale has never been higher. Fletcher yeah, is just- Swab is 
chilling. Exactly. Yeah, so I guess Issa was seasick a minute ago. Yeah, it was definitely a fountain of throw up. <laughs> you feeling better now, baby? Poor baby. She's in a very good mood. Yeah. I think being up here is, probably feels better than being down there. Yeah. I love it when she is like enjoying sailing like this. Uh -huh. Look at her, she's in such a good mood. Hi. Hey, the wind in your hair, in your crazy hair. <laughs> Shipwreck Beach on the island of Zakynthos is possibly the most iconic image in all of the Ionian Islands. The image of this colorful bay was burned into my mind when I first listened to the audiobook of Seraphin's Mediterranean Adventures by Lynn and Larry Party. That is one of the core books that really sparked my interest in the idea of sailing around the world. And this image had a lot to do with that. And now that I'm actually here on my own boat in the middle of this insanely beautiful bay is an absolute dream come true. Man, this watercolor is nuts. Like look at it on my face, you know? It's like just reflecting blue light all over. This is something else, man. Look at that Kool-Aid blue. Here come the tourists. <laughs> I think what we can do is there's another bay uh -huh. that is a little more protected to this swell, less boats. We could maybe try to anchor there and like do a kayak slash swim slash dinghy. So <laughs> how you feeling, buddy? I feel so weird because I'm like head sick and fluey, but then also seasick. Yeah. And then I had to keep it together for Isa. I'm just like, what is happening? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, so we're heading through a tiny little cut that I have read on the charts that you can make it through, but you gotta be really careful. So we got Geo up on the bow, gonna try to thread the needle. Boy, this is a little sketchier than I thought because the swell is trying to kind of turn the boat this way and that way. I think I see the shallows. I think you're good. All right, so we found a couple of small, secluded little bays that look like they might afford just enough protection. So let's see if we can drop the hook in one of these super pretty spots. Does it look like sand below us? Yeah, yes. it, yeah, right now it does. Now it's getting a little darker again. You're heading over rocks yeah. now. They're deep. The rocks. All right, I think I'm gonna try to drop the anchor in that sand that we just went over. Sand. Okay, go ahead and drop. All right, we're at blue. Great. Dude, this is a pretty sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this may be the first time that I've basically looked straight up from the boat and seen a cliff. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. This really is one of the coolest single spots that we've like brought the boat to, you know? What are you two laughing at? <laughs> no. What? Y'all say that a lot. We say that about <laughs> everywhere like that we the go. This is the coolest anchorage <laughs> we've been to ever. This is the coolest anchorage I've ever been to. There you go. Yeah. We can say too. that for sure. Confidently. Is this the coolest anchorage you've ever been? Okay, bye. <laughs> we made it. Yeah. Yes, we did. You know, it's so crazy. This is definitely, I think, prettier than Shipwreck Beach, but it didn't make the tourist map. Right. So there's no one here. Yeah. yeah, I'm still not feeling super hot, so I think I'm gonna just try to rest and you guys go and explore for us. Okay. See what you can. Sorry, buddy. That's all right. All right, we are getting ready to do a shore party to this beach. Yeah. It is so freaking hot that I can't wait, so I'm gonna jump in the water. Oh my gosh. Okay. Give me the dog. Okay, I'll show you. Go back here. Good boy. So, no joke, I think this cliff is actually above me right now. And look how far away I am from the cliff. 
<laughs> All right, well, I'm feeling still pretty under the weather, but I'm making some pasta salad while the adventure gang is off on the kayak. Isabella is my sidekick. You got your veggies? I have the pasta out here cooling. Gosh, it's so pretty just looking around. Wow. How's the beach going, buddy? It's really good. You should come just yeah. for like a minute. It yeah. does look so nice. It'd be a crime not to yes. go. Well, okay. thanks for coming to get me. Yeah, you're welcome. Dad came to rescue us. Yeah. All right, baby is strapped in. You want to be launched into the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks for getting me. I, I feel like I would have missed out if I didn't come. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. It's like crazy blue water on either side of my little rock hammock. Ah, oh, yes. So comfortable. <laughs> what do you give me, baby? You give me 10 out of 10? <laughs> to the coolest beach in Greece. That's Cheers. right. Nice. Woo. Cheers. To the coolest anchorage we've ever been to. There you go. <laughs> Man, I am sad to say goodbye to that place. That was so cool. Five out of five, G? Five out of five, for All sure. All right, nice. <laughs> Man, the caves along this coastline are just nuts. What's crazy to me is there's, it looks like really plush green fields on top, so it kind of reminds me of like New Zealand. But then there's these stark orange and white limestone caves and then ocean. It's, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen landscape like that before. It really is moments like this where I'm just trying to do everything I can to appreciate just how absurdly beautiful the thing that I'm looking at is, you know? I feel like I can remember parts of my life where I was lucky enough to see something this stunning and really just get to stare at it. I'm trying to imprint it into my brain, like this is what it felt like, this is what it looked like. Because it's just so cool. Cruising along under these giant cliffs as the sun sets, just uh, indescribably pretty. Yeah, Fletch, how many pictures have you taken? Like over 50. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. clip, clip, clip. <laughs> yeah. One, two. Yeah, and then just push that left. Push it left. Bingo. Uh. <laughs> you did it, G. Welcome to our very pristine anchorage. Fletch, you excited to get a good night of sleep? Yeah, feel great. Okay, hey buddy, how you feeling? Uh, I had a fever again last night. Yeah. Yay. So I'm feeling a little foggy today. What about you, Isa? How are you feeling? Yeah, are you feeling good, little smiley? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely feeling sick. Got stuffy nose, sore throat, all that, but I don't have it as bad as, as you at all. You definitely got it the worst out of all of us. You are the weakest link. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna head ashore, and there's a really cool hike here that we're gonna try to do. So let's see if we can get the sickly crew to do some hiking today. So even though I was sick, I decided to try to suck it up and join everyone on the hike. If my sister weren't here, honestly, I definitely would have spent the day in bed. But my sister and I are totally different people. For example, when I get sick, I kind of wallow in how terrible I feel. I kind of pretend like the world is coming to an end. Whereas my sister just sucks it up. She doesn't like being babied. So honestly, I decided to go on the hike because I wanted to act just a little bit more like my sister for once. Man, it's nice going on a hike with four people. We can distribute the load. I've got the backpack with all the camera gear. Fletch Dog's got the water. Giovanna's got the baby. Desiree is carrying a small <laughs> fanny pack. Probably weighs Mm, half a With a couple dog <laughs> treats in it. Yep, you gotta bear the load, buddy. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because a lot of the restaurants are closed at this time of day because it's so hot, no <laughs> one's out going to restaurants. And here we are hiking up the tallest <laughs> mountain in the area. I'm not gonna lie, it was super hot out and the hike was kind of miserable for me. And just as I began to question if I should have just stayed in bed, we stumbled upon this view and it made it all worth it. Are we going cliff jumping here? Oh, yeah. Gosh, Are that. you ready? Only if Isa comes with me. Yeah. <laughs> Isa, if you want to go cliff jumping, give me the OK symbol. 
We saw this Shit. from the boat yesterday. Yeah. And it looked huge in the boat. Yeah. So to see it from up here still looks huge, but mm -hmm. in like a very different way. And then there was a sailboat that passed by since we've been here and it looked tiny. So just cool to see it from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. It's a little more hot up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming up to the end of our hike. It is very, very hot. Getting a little tired. We all think Giovanna Gallo lost. We are right on our all trails trail. So yeah. not only am I baby carrier, but yeah. navigator. Yeah. And I've done a fantastic job. Are you cooling down the dog? I want some of that. Oh, dude. That's good. Okay. Oh. So how lost are we? <laughs> Give it to you straight. Yeah, give it to me straight, G. <laughs> we are within also four minutes of our destination. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half since our last update. We finally made it to our destination. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> it may have been about 60 seconds. It says, skinny people are easy to kidnap. Stay safe, eat here, homemade food. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> She doesn't drink it, she just puts it in her mouth and spits it back in. Yeah. So I end up drinking her I'm spit. <laughs> Hi, Issa. And she is not a kisser. Just force it. And you have such chubby little kissable Smush cheeks. Smush the cheeks into her face. I, I'd like to just do this instead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at that face. Here, just go Kiss in her mouth. the chubby cheek. <laughs> she did it. Was that great? Best kiss of your life. <laughs> I got stewed lamb and potatoes, and it is very, very good. Mm -hmm. G. I got Greek salad for the table and these meatballs. Meatballs are on like every menu that I've seen in Greece so far. Mike. Moussaka, traditional Greek meal. Good meal after a good hike. Mm -hmm. Red River Gorge. You good boy. All right, so while Giovanna is here, I'm gonna have her do Issa's first off-grid medical checkup. <laughs> and what we'll do is send all the data to our pediatrician who we're gonna be working with uh, remotely. Ready for your checkup? Take a seat. Don't touch any buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so Giovanna actually works as a physician's assistant, and she is one of our best resources when it comes to medical issues. She's like, I can eat this, right? Woo! Hi! <laughs> 42 and a half to 43. On that part, she had some... 25 and a half. 8.9. Cis over dia. Clear. Clear. <laughs> Luckily, the next day, Desiree was feeling a lot better. But I, on the other hand, felt like dog shit. But it being Gio and Fletcher's last day in Greece, they wanted to take the kayak to explore the nearby island of Marathonisi. And I begrudgingly agreed to tag along. What is this? Come on. <laughs> Get in there. Hey, let's check out this cave. Oh, God. Ah, so graceful. How you doing, bud? Yeah, tired. When Jordan's sick, it's the weirdest thing because he's usually so energized. Happy. Yeah. This is actually kind of nice now. Like rather than just laying around on the boat all day, uh -huh. lay around on this cave. <laughs> yeah, he's so happy. He's like, give me that camera. Isabella's like, from what I can tell from my life, caves like this are not very rare. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is my favorite activity while we're cruising. Mm -hmm. It's just like have fun on boats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I love the kayak. I love this thing. Like it's just fun to just not even have a destination or a plan and mm -hmm. just, I mean, it would be a lot more fun if I wasn't sick. But. <laughs> we're gonna give you Oso because he's freaking out. Oso, Oso. Come. let's go, come. Now is your moment. <laughs> he's like, this is better. Oso is obsessed with Joanna. <laughs> Hey, little baby. Gotta say goodbye to Aunt Gio and Uncle Fletch. What are we gonna do without them, huh? I'll see you in a few months when we're gonna match. <laughs> You're gonna be wearing a white dress and I'm wearing a white dress. Ooh, faux pas. Okay, bye, Issa. Bye. You gotta give her a kiss, G. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't want it. She turned away. <laughs> bye, Issa. Aww. Bye, Lethal. Oh. Thanks for coming out. This is very special. Yeah. 
Love you. Very Me proud too. of you. Thanks for living in cool places that I can visit. Sure. <laughs> Goodbye, little old show. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. This is a lot us. of fun. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Say goodbye to your bye. boyfriend. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye, Fletcher. Bye. Nice yes. you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, and I know awesome. that you guys aren't married yet, but it's really special having you be a part of our family now. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She's all the way back to yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, real people shoes. Yep. Yeah. Got my, those out. My city shoes, I got my rings on, my jewelry. <laughs> this was like, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. What is happening? Say Bye. 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 Uh, yeah, that was really, really fun. I'm gonna miss the little one. Part of the reason I was like excited about having a little girl was because of Giovanna, my sister, when she's seven years younger than I am. So ever since I was a little seven year old, I just kind of was obsessed with her and, you know, had so much fun just watching her become. The woman that she is today. And it's really cool that she got to come here and meet you. Yeah? You're starting at square one. What kind of person are you gonna be, Issa, huh? You gonna be like Aunt Giovanna? I hope so. I hope so.